hello. I forgot to take this out of the camera shot. I'll get to this in a few minutes. That's one of those things that, yeah, I wanted to show you a few things. Yeah, just kind of, I don't always do my glue gun in, plug it in. And these have been sitting there waiting, and then I have like four or five things or whatever that need to be hot glued. And then they kind of sit for a while off to the side. And then when I turn on the, when I plug in the uh, glue gun, then they all get glued together. So, yeah, that's why. Yeah. And when I first got mine, I was gifted this. And, of course, everyone was telling me, you you know, you can make this, you can, you can make that, you know. And so then I got playing around. This is the 12 inch strip by one inch. And I haven't seen bows with a 12 inch length. So I thought, well, hey, I'll try it. You know, and I've been, you know, I, um, we had a hilarious time over on one of my streams. I think it's probably gone by now, but, um, someone in chat was, was giving me all the measurements and I, I yeah I could because it was brand new to me and come on come on I was yeah anyway and um we had fun that day but anyway this is a 12 inch by one inch this side is bigger that one is bigger than this side for whatever reasons probably because it's a 12 inch and I didn't bother to move anyway don't ask me how that happens, because that, that, see, that doesn't even make sense. Because I would have automatically flipped it over and done the same thing. So I don't want know why that came bigger and that small. But anyway, then just the other day, I watched Grimping Mommy's video on her bows, and she did it three layers. So I did it her way, and I added, now this one I think was a four inch, four and like a fourth by one inch and I did it her way and then I put a broken bead on it so yeah okay yeah because I did that because yeah I had the glue gun yeah okay well you yeah, know now this is one this is a work in progress I did this is in the wee hours of early Saturday morning that I'm taping this. So this technically I did the I worked on this Friday evening. And what I did, this is from two or three years ago I bought this after this is from Joann's when they had the after Valentine's clearance. And this is that oh all right, never mind. It's all right. That, that see that the bead wants to still come off but it's the uh, those beads don't have holes and after carrying it around moving it I love this this is the original look of it well last week sometime I thought you know this is the time this is a time frame I'm going to move forward with this and it's going to be changed a little bit so it's still a little bit wet here and there. So this, I actually got into my drawer. I have a drawer and a container. I, yeah, oops. I, this is a tea stained na uh, lunch napkin. Two different shades, two different shades of dressmaking tissue. And this is a used tea bag. And that's what I used, and I just used regular Elmer's glue, you know, like um, glue all, yeah. And so that's what it looks like. And I got to thinking that I could take that, instead of doing the back side, I could take this, I the hearts are one of my favorite shapes, so I figure, I just look around, 
And I've got a big, I'm pretty sure I have a big enough something that I can trace around. And then I can turn this into like a door hanging, or like a wall hanging. And I can put lace on the back heart. And, you know, and, uh, you know, I've got like this, you know. I could do, um, here's some vintage lace. I could take this here, this right here part. And I could do some rolled roses. I could maybe get, I prefer, um, yeah. oh, wow, these got hooks on them. This is really old, vintage. Um, um, yeah, uh, I forgot what I was going to say, because I just realized that all of this has got hooks. So see, this was hooked on. And on to something. I just realized there's hooks. You know, the, anyway, wow. Um, yeah, and I've got this. It's a, it embosses while you die cut. So I could turn that, you know, in the center here. You know, there's all kinds of little different things. And I can make some more different kind of flowers. I've got bits and pieces. I got my from my Ulala Vintage Treasure Kit. See, I've got black, black, and pearls, and this. Plus, if I want to, I can also add some this kind of stuff. So, you know, I've got yeah, and I could. This is a used dryer sheet. I could maybe even try um, putting it with uh, some other things and doing some odd flowers. So, you know, I wanted to share that. Okay. And when I get it done, I can show you. All right. So, now we'll go back. I wanted to show you. Let me get this moved over here. I wanted to show you. This is, it's been a while, I've made this a while, and I was told um, to go, go check out Jenny Bailey over on YouTube, and you know, I'm, I like to recycle, and I'm kind of in in a way, I could probably be the American Ginny Belly in a lot of ways. So anyway, I finally got over here, and I looked, and I fell in love with this video. It's about 15 minutes long, give or take. And she she fast forwards. Now, I don't fast forward because I can't fast forward. Um, but anyway, so... When I decided one Saturday morning, I thought I want to do something, but I want to do something that I can probably get done in like one day. And so I went over to to how to make 100% recycled art journal from cereal boxes on the Jenny Belly channel. And I started and stopped the video and I follow through and of course and this is something you know this is not none of her stuff was new I just decided I wanted to have a little bit of a um, a tutorial where I could st pause you know start and stop do the work and you know I wanted something that I could kind of go with and so I go through one section and yeah, see the first section she go she tells you how to you know do the alter the paperboard, and so I pause that and then I go through it and I did all this, and I tell you I had a lot of this out, and and then the the paper at the actual paper actually came from whatever counterfeit kit I had going that month. There was leftover paper in my kit, so it became part of the signatures. 
So I have a lot of fun. This is some of my early days um, handmade paper. And this was really tough, very stiff handmade paper. But I persevered. There are many times I could have tossed it across the room, but I persevered. And I really ended up liking that. This is a painty baby wipe. Yes, I recycle baby wipes. Painty baby wipes. This this um, half doily here and that little rhinestone thingy is from my Oolala Vintage Treasure Kit. And yeah, this is a Ginny Billy printout. And this is some more of the painty um, paperboard that was left over. And I actually put it through um, some embossing folders to give it, you know, that extra oomph. And this is a homemade paper, um, homemade, this is a homemade bead from some of my fabric paper. So I'll take you just kind of, and I, I don't, I, I haven't worked in here for a while. This is actually, I also took some um, fast food sacks and I recycled them, obviously, and I pre-painted all of this. And here's a signature. And in some cases, see some of the paper, I did this. You know, the scra some of the scraps of the paper in the kit, I did that before, before I turned it into a signature, I did that. And you know, this is something that I, this is an art journal page that I started and, you know, I haven't finished it yet. It just, you know, yeah, it, it's a fold out. Let me get it. Let me get here in the, see, it's a fold out. So this is the very first, this was originally on a 12 by 12 piece of paper, cardstock. And these, this was, I don't know, this, this was, this was the um, sweet moments like the, these. This was the title, but it was never technically glued down. And yeah. But anyway, this was the first rack I ever made. So anyway, I decided, you know, because, you know, it was in one of those unfinished page things. And I just thought, you know, just slap it down in here. And, yeah, this is, I made a pocket. This is a scrap of velvet that I had. And the bottom of the bag, you know, the bottom. It does make a pocket, and I sewed it on, and then I sewed it here on the sides, glued on. Actually, I think I actually sewed. I sewed these on before I did. I sewed this bead on before I actually did the side stitching here. And, yeah. And this is um, one of those things that you can open, and it's an, uh, my grandmother. This is a... It has perfume inside of it. It's a keychain that has perfume. My grandpa carried this. And I did a belly band out of some of the paper. The paper board. I've got, I've got a few photos of them. And I can do journaling or whatever. And tell stories. And I can just stick it in there. Um, this paper board, as you can see here, I left the flaps on. I, I did not... This I didn't just trim it off. I left the flaps. I thought, hey, you want it's an interesting thing, you know. Let's just, you know, work it. This is an altered Christmas card. And yeah, see, didn't cut the flap. And here, this is an the one side, actually both sides. But I'm going to trim this to fit here. And this is a altered 
it was a front cover of a magazine and I thought that it would you know yeah so I had a lot of fun and it kept me occupied that one day that I did this this is actually um, used coffee filters here right here yeah yeah I had fun doing this so I just thought I'd share and uh, at the end when I was all done I decided to turn this is a uh, yeah recycled cheesecake thingy and this is a little kit this is the leftovers out of all actual paint chips um, yeah painty baby wipes um, this is leftover chipboard and it looks like a kite and it's ready I put it through the my sewing machine also I embossed it and then put it through my sewing machine yeah just all kinds of stuff in here that was left over from the yeah see here this is one of the this is one of the cutoff pieces from the tab you know you close but it's kind of cool it's still there's still enough here but I could get something out of that and when I work in the kit well, excuse me, when I work in, t in the art journal, I just come in here. I make sure I have this nearby so I can, so I can, yeah, I can use it. So I have all the, you know, here's some altered crepe paper. Yeah. So just, see, yeah, chronicle, so just thought I'd show you that I didn't throw it all out, I just, I just kept it, and like I said, when I, when I do work in that art journal, oh, the shark, <laughs> um, I pull this out, and I can grab, and I can add new things as well, so, and it's just this one container. Yeah. I really did have fun. So I thought I would share. Let me get this. Um, uh, um, I could probably do an art journal page out of that book. But I do not have the ability to pause and fast forward so I would have to pre-cut pretty much everything and it might end up being anywhere from a 30 to a 50 minute video an art journal so I don't know I haven't I guess we could try it you know yeah I could do as much prep as I possibly could the fact that these pages are pretty much already painted you know it would just be a matter you know so we could try it you know we'll see I'll keep thinking about it thanks for stopping by love ya oh ooh ooh I gotta tack on something I have a very odd candy station. Yeah, I know. I like them. Don't ask me why. I just, yeah, I have my one skeleton stamp, and I'm a happy camper. Okay, and this is of course my coconut yarn. But what I wanted to show you is recently Someone sent me nine pieces of milk glass. So, yeah, yeah, so, uh -huh. yeah, so I'm in the, I'm in the process of, yeah, yeah, it kind of,
sitting around seeing I've got like this. This is, um, yeah. And I've got flat that trim in here, but look at, I got, see, I got, I can, I can now, some of my bling. Oh, this is a stick pin from the, oh, and this, guys, right there, that white part of that stick pin, that's actually glue. That's actually glue, dried glue. Every once in a while, I don't know if I've shared this with you before, but anyway, sometimes when the glue comes over this top here, it will just sit there and it will glue. But you know what? I turned it into a bead spacer thingy. And it's really, they work. Honest, they do. It, it works. Yeah. So just saying. But it's not necessarily cost effective. And yeah, yeah, you may not. Just saying. It was one of those happy circumstances. Happy, you know, happy. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah. Just, yeah, just thought I'd just kind of tuck that in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, just thought I'd tuck that in there. And I think, um, yeah, probably. I've been doing some other stuff, but, yeah, this is getting long enough. And I don't want to freak anybody out. Well, like I said, hey, you know, if I do a journal page here, it will probably be a lot longer video. But anyway, I'll see you. Bye.